Martas just posted a video. I'm going to show you guys the new trick that he showed me. Creds to this guy on the screen right now. Go follow his Twitter. If you want to see a full guide, Martas has a link down below, but I decided to share it in this video. It might get patched by the time I'm making this. You take out your stair, and then what you're going to do is you're going to jump, and then you're going to release your jump as you're in the air. And you're going to time the jump and placing the stair at the exact same time when you reach the top. Make sure you're pressed all the way up against the wall and you look directly down. So here we go. I'm going to try and get it right in the first try. Oh my God, I did it. <laughs> Let's go. I honestly can't imagine this thing in the, oh my goodness, staying in the game too long because this is literally extremely broken. It's almost like a launch pad. You do take fall damage, but let me show you the first part of this video. Okay, so this play here, I actually sent this to Raider in a Twitter DM and I was asking him maybe he can find a way to replicate this. I get like weird kind of just bursts out of nowhere and it, it's been happening kind of recently. Maybe Raider can try and figure something out. Also, check this one out too. I'm building up the height. I'm playing dual arena with Jiven and out of nowhere, I do a little high ground retake here and I edit out in front and then i try to do like a mantle side jump but look how far down i do it and i just like boost right in front of them so here it is again like i do the edit i jump up and then boost right in front of them. makes no sense here's me trying to replicate it and i couldn't figure out too much of like what happened why that was like that and i sent it to raider maybe he'll be able to figure something out i don't know raider is the guy for those of you who don't know who always comes up with unique plays literally the second a new season comes out and he's always finding game breaking stuff and he's literally the best editor in the game this video is me showing you the best box Box fighting moves, the best way to play corners, do's and don'ts, just some plain outright smart plays for Fortnite that you're going to be able to follow along with as I slow-mo it every now and then. Quick plug, if you want to buy my merch, it's free shipping, everything up to $50 or more. First, let's start out and tap into the mind of some unique plays. This move was me versing Jiven in a creative, and you might see a bunch of these, but I found kind of one unique way of going for a peek here. Most of you guys know of this Martas peek where you jump up behind this floor edit and there's a stair above you and you get this shot. Now, what I did randomly was not use a stair and I jumped far from the left here. My head was completely not visible at all. The plus side to this is that you will literally never get shot. It's impossible to get seen. When you do it the other way, your head is higher than the floor. So that way you could still get shot. But this way is crazy. By the way, there are timestamps. Here's how you be a psycho while doing it smart. Anytime you drop on someone's wall, you got to play on the corner of build. So you'll notice the second I drop, I drop on the corner and he thinks I'm on this wall, but I'm actually not. So I get a quick smack just so I can get it weak, but I'm not looking to break it yet after you crack someone like this you instantly just try and run right in their box because now they're weak and i have a health advantage when you don't get in then you just back up hold pump out shoot reset simple as that now i'm going to show you more examples of playing on walls because that one might have been a little bit more complicated here's another one so when i'm attacking this guy from the bottom i just want him to leave the box so i end up jumping out in front of him and you got to think if someone's making an edit and running at me they're going to continue trying to search for me up until that time that's how i got this shot so i played back when i drop down on the wall you'll literally see i'm on a perfect diagonal so no matter what wall he edits i'm just running back and forth between the two builds even against really really sweaty players just constantly run back and forth between the build here's a different example where i was kind of caught off guard but it's okay because i was on the corner i was able to place a wall and you'll notice i'm trying to make really safe peaks so that first one i didn't do it right away because i knew that he would be able to shoot me now i showed you how to play as the aggressor but on defense what i do is i kind of just wait for people to approach my box like this and i wait for them to drop down so i could shoot box them from the outside. Before I show you do's and don'ts, I'm going to show you the different type of phasing techniques that I use and how I go about using them to get kills quick. So here's the first one, the most simplistic one at that. And I just run up to the wall, place a stair when nothing's inside. And then I just take the wall mongrel class. Anytime there's no build in there, you just instantly shove it in their face. Now, here's a more unique one. You're going to see I'm box fighting this player and I, we end up exchanging shots. He runs at me and gets a wall in my face. So you'll notice I just shove a stair in there. Boom, real quick gets the kill mad fast. Even when you're on a stair, you could see how I wanted to phase it in the direction so it pushes him against the wall. So here's one against more of a sweaty player. Once I get the wall in there, I instantly create a box to where he might go into, right? Now I ended up walking away because I thought he was going to run out this side. But even after all that time went by, I still had plenty of time to just shoot him and he was sitting there just clueless. Common scenario, the guy makes two boxes. I shove a wall in between both of them. I break this wall, edit it mad quick and shoot him. This play will happen a ton. Just a preference if you want to learn the phasing technique before watching these there's a video somewhere on the top i have a complete tutorial for it here's the next one in late game arena these players at the beginning are drone really good way to practice no one has any builds inside their box so it's just the easiest way to just get reps in so here's the next player and he has two boxes and i'm literally sprinting and still being able to place stairs in his box it's so easy to do to top it all off before we go to another topic this is the final one the most advanced one against jiven and you're going to notice we're build fighting i crack him and he runs 
finds a way to go box up. So the second he does that, I instantly place a stair and the wall in there. By the time he makes an edit on this wall, I'm already sprinting over to the other side and he's dead if he stays in that box. Okay, so now we're moving on to some do's and don'ts when you're fighting people. When I box up above someone, this is how I approach the fight. So I create walls and cones. Now he shot me right away and chances are he's going to push me even further. So I just sit there with my pump out and get ready to just shoot reset. I choked the edits at the bottom because I didn't want a 50-50 right away, but this was one of the cleanest mongrel classics I think I've ever had. Okay, so here's a unique way about what happens when someone tries to 1v2 you. These guys are going to be really aggro against you, right? So the second I got hit really hard, I knew that they were going to try and force their way into my box with no thought. Quick little pre-fire and hold the wall again. Stuff like this when you're weak will literally save you in game. Now here's the next sort of play. This guy was camping all the way up top here and I ended up choking a lot of edits. So I said, let me chill, relax. And whenever I mess up a lot, I just stand still with my pump out and get ready to pre-fire. It helps me regather my thoughts and also nine times out of 10, I'll be able to get a shot like I did here. That's how I stopped myself from panicking. So here's another cool, unique play. You'll notice when I cone over and wall on this guy, he is now partially inside my box. What I always try and tell people is that if you were that player, the first thing you would do is leave that box instantly. So don't even bother going for an edit, go to full box them. Then once he saw me on that wall, he knew he was practically cornered. Okay, so here's me fighting Jiven again, right? This is a retake that I talked about in my retake video, link down below too. If there's a guy above my box, I place a stair and instead of trying to side jump, I'm literally just gonna wall stair over to my left and then high wall up right in front of him. That way, in case he actually grabs this wall, I'll be able to crouch, place a floor and leave the whole thing together. So if I side jumped instead, he could have got the wall first and I would have been shot. That is the safest and most reliable thing to do whenever someone's above your box. Here's a quick do or don't. So I drop this guy. Keep in mind, he's like full drone. But to put these people down quick, you'll see once I crack him, I have him full box, literally pokeballed underneath my cone. The easiest way to wrap this up, and I've noticed that they're full drone, I'll edit the back tile, hold the edit, and then run to the back and then just shoot them while they have their back turned to me. Biggest rule, if they look at you, don't make the edit, they're going to pre-fire you. Okay, so here's the next one. I'm gliding in on this guy, right? So just watch the mindset, kind of what I'm thinking about here. I wide edit on him. He shoots me. Okay, so I'm about to run over and I stop myself pausing this video. Literally, I'm like thinking to myself, if I was this guy, what would I do? I would edit as I'm running over to this wall. So I just hold my pump out. Now look at that crosshair placement. Look at that shot. It just completely turned the fight around. There's times when I play the game where I just literally stop moving completely and just hold my gun out and pre-fire. Whenever I feel like I'm doing too much, that's when I do that. So here's the next one. And this is what you always want to do. So I end up getting the height and I see that he has a box, but there's a stair near it and I made it weak as I was dropping. So I try to get it one pickaxe. Boom. Now I'm realizing that he doesn't have a floor above his box. So I place the floor. I choke a little bit, but right away, I know that I could just kind of predict this guy going out of his side. The reason why I can tell that he was leaving was because if you're inside that box, someone has your front wall and they have the floor above you, you don't want to be in that box anymore. You're instinctively going to try and leave without even thinking about it. This is a play that every time I verse a pro, they would always get me with this move. Now I end up finding this guy. He gets a cone above me right away. My initial thought, high wall through that. Now I'm going up to the side. Notice how I'm not jumping at all all during these retakes. That's because when I place this wall, I'm going to time the jump for when he exposes himself and then go up and then just pre-fire it. That is a play that literally works almost every time. If you're ramping up to someone like this, you place a wall, you just sit there with your pump out. They're going to expose thinking they have a right hand peak, but you're the one with the better peak. Definitely a little sloppy finish towards the end. Now, here's the thing I do whenever I'm build fighting someone. This just so happened to be the last final moments. This player gets to hide on me and there's floors ahead of me. So what I do right away, instead of trying to tarp or anything, I'm just like, screw it. I run and sprint jump so that I can jump further and higher, easy mantle to height, and then I end up getting the kill. Remember how I mentioned phasing techniques and playing on the corner of builds? This is a very common situation when you're trying to be a psycho. So hear me out for just a second. You're gonna see how I'm combining both of these. I phase the stair in, now I'm playing on the corner of the build, right? And as I'm taking this wall, I am literally on the corner. So if he runs at me, I place a wall to stop anything from happening. Now, what I do, I take the wall and make a window edit here. This is because if there are any sort of control player, they're just going to be pressed up against that wall, waiting for you to unleash them so they get in your face. Here's example A, and now here's the same thing again. So you're going to see it drop on the corner, phase it in. Now I'm taking the wall from the corner, and this guy, I make a window at it. Look what he's doing. He's waiting like a mailman trying to deliver my mail. I see that he's running forward towards the box, which means he's about to make an edit. So that's why I always naturally back up whenever someone grabs the wall back. In times of playing Fortnite, I know that I need to hit headshots. So this was a certain edit where if I 
didn't get this kill quick enough, Jiven would have ended up dying. Here's the more advanced stuff. Every time I build fight someone, what I love to do is sprint jump over their box altogether. So you see, he's editing out in front of me. I place the wall, cone on the bottom, and a double edit up top. Then I know right away that Jiven, because he's a smart player, he's going to try and leave this box. Here we are playing box fights. I know that because I didn't get the wall, notice how I'm on the corner again. Now, when he's about to make an edit, that's when I wanted to place the cones and walls like that. He ends up reboxing and I can just sense that Jiven wants the height. So I place walls above those boxes, even if he wasn't going up that direction. After I shot him and cracked him, notice how I was so quick to place the wall in front of me because when good players verse each other, they always look to shove walls from really far away. Now we're going to close this out with a few W's back to back. More than likely, Jiven and I are going to be streaming the Divisional Cup. So stop by on my Twitch stream, link down below if you're trying to see that live. I'll see you guys in the next vid. Peace.